watched the news last night. Heard the news last night. My wife and I were coming back into town and when we got up here on I-20 near the church we were passed by several police cars maybe three or four police cars glory to God and they passed us and they were in a hurry and my wife said I wonder where they're going only to find out that they were coming here. How many of you know that there was a shooting outside of this mall last night? Amen. How many of you know that that's becoming common in our culture? Amen. Shootings are becoming Everyday things. Oh, glory to God. Everyday things. So, um, it affected my message today. And so I pray that you would give me your ears for the next few moments. And I pray that you would listen to this message today and that you would digest it and that you won't make that you won't sit out there with a religious spirit a religious spirit is a spirit that says the word is for somebody else I don't need it it ain't for me glory to God I'm spiritually strong and the Lord is with me and I'm, I'm good but this word today is a warning. And it's a warning to the church. And if you comprise the church, you need to take heed to this warning. Okay. To, uh, put up Acts chapter 16. Brother Dwayne, could you pull mine down in the monitor just a little bit? Pastors. Uh, yeah, just in the monitor. Amen. Amen. Put up Acts chapter 16. And we're going to start in verse 16. I bless the Lord today. In Acts 16, how many of you know that we're living in evil times? You know, the church hears me say that so much till I don't even believe that it has an effect on the church anymore. How many of you were raised in the house with good parents and they would warn you about things? How many of you would, can admit that you didn't take heed to all of them? Amen? That you thought that they were overprotected and you thought that they were a little excessive. Come on. It don't take all of that. Glory to God. There was a shooting at this mall last night. And I understand it was a, a serious shootout. It wasn't just a little bang bang. It was a serious shootout for what I understand. Amen? I wasn't here. When I got here this morning, Lord, I give you praise. When I got here this morning, and I pulled in the parking lot, there was only a few cars in the parking lot. I want y'all to hear me. Last night must have been a demonic night where the enemy wanted to do something to this area. 
When I got here this morning, listen to me carefully, I pulled up, there was only a few cars out in the parking lot. And when I parked my car, a car came from across the parking lot and it was racing towards me. I want y'all to listen to me. I'm talking about this car was racing towards me. And it pulled right in front of me. And of course, I'm thinking about the shooting last night. So I said, well, let me see who this is. There wasn't a whole lot of people there. I said, before I get out of my car, let me see who this is. Could be someone, you know. Because they just pulled right in front and they just sat there. They were watching me. Wasn't too many people here. Amen. So I sat there for a minute and I watched the car and I noticed it was an older black female and she got out of the car. When she got out of the car, she was dressed in African attire. She had her head tied. Uh, she had a long, I guess it was a, a long, somewhat of a dress or like a robe. And she had the, uh, like the, uh, the long stockings up under it or the uh, tights or whatever. And then she had this scarf thrown around her shoulder. I want y'all to listen to me. I got out of the car to get myself to come into church. As soon as I got out of the car, she came walking up to me. As she was walking up to me, I know, I, I know the voice of God when I hear it. God said, that's a witch. Be careful. Now watch this. I want y'all to hear me. If you don't believe in witches, and if you don't believe in warlocks, if you don't believe in evil, you're fooling yourself. If you don't believe that there are demons and devils sent by Satan to hinder your walk, then you're fooling yourself. The Lord spoke to me. He said, she's a witch. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. During the course of my ministry, my ministry has been attacked by witches so much, yes. I'm not ignorant of their devices. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm a pastor who studies. Mm -hmm. Not only a pastor who studies, but I'm a pastor who prays. Yes. Yes. And God keeps me covered. The reason why I'm here today is because God has kept me covered. I have had many encounters with witches. Yes. I want y'all to hear me. This sister walked up to me and started talking, started a conversation that didn't make no sense. Let me tell you what she said. She said, I forget the name, she said, she walked up to me, she said, Alice called me this morning about 5.30. I don't know what's wrong with her. And we got in this conversation, and I thought she was crazy, and so I sat there, I said, hold a minute. I said, let's, what's your name? If you're going to talk to me, I need to know who you are. And she introduced herself. Now watch this. I'm looking at her. She's trying to get me to focus on her conversation while she is chanting up under her butt. She was sent to put a spell. And y'all might think I'm crazy. I don't. I don't. Jesus. If you're a child of God and you don't walk in the covering of God, if your life is not covered by the blood, you're going to be taken over. We're living in those times. For those of you who've been a member of this church when we used to be go up under the name Church of a Second Chance, how many of y'all remember years ago when we had a shedding? 
We were up in Irmo, yes. and the Lord moved upon me. He said, Pastor, your church needs to come before me in prayer. And he gave me the instructions. He said, I want you to have a service starting at 11 o'clock on a Friday night. And I want y'all to stay in service from 11 o'clock until 6 o'clock in the morning. And I want y'all to pray. I want y'all to hear me now. Amen. Amen. We went through the prayer that and it was a powerful prayer that night. That morning at 6 o'clock when we walked out of the church, I was driving a blue Dodge Caravan at that time. When we walked out of the church, my van was covered with blood. Somebody had poured blood all over my van. There were dead birds killed and laid out in the front of the church. There was witchcraft everywhere in front of the church. Y'all need to hear me. About a year or so later, we moved and moved into where Pastor Nagy was, and 